What's up guys, J and Exotics here, back with an update uh, for the month of November. Not much has changed. I think the only thing different is the African Fat Tail is now in a tub and not uh, the 12x12 12 12 and 18. Probably gonna get some thumbnails for that tank and uh, put this cork round up here to get use. Either that or uh, start on the project of the Vietnamese Mossy Frogs. I'm gonna start down here with our whites. Um, they're in a basic setup. They're in an 18, 18, 24 Exoterra. Um, they have, that's not a basking light, that's just an LED light for, uh, so they have a day and night cycle. This is our big female that you got to see last time. I love these frogs because uh, they get so fat and all the folds, they kind of just fold over themselves. She has big hands too when uh, when these guys go after crickets and I get them, they, uh, they use their hands to shove them in their mouth and they actually like put their eyeballs inside their head and uh, that helps them swallow, push the cricket down their throat. That's the male. You guys are gonna get to see him last time. These guys are awesome. It'd be nice to get them in a better setup. The camera can focus, there we go. But, they're doing well right now in this. To the right of them, I have all the tanks I think already pre-opened. So it makes filming easier. Let's see, these are our crested geckos. There's one right there, I think that's the female. And the male, he usually sleeps inside his cork round. You can see his, uh, that's his tail right there. I'm not gonna disturb these guys. Um, I want to let them sleep. They'll be up in a little bit. But that's these guys. Uh, same thing. I don't know if I said it. 18, 18, 24, Rex Otero. To the right, we have our uh, Madagascar giant day gecko. Gecko. Blah. Words. Um, yeah, he's in a Zoomed skyscraper. Um, I love this tank. Not really the setup. It'd be nice to redo it. But just the tank itself. I think it's really cool. Um, how tall it is. I think it's 36 by 18 by 18. Um, be cool to get like a, uh, you know, a leechy as a baby. And when he's full grown, do like a live vivarium set up with him in here. Um, well, not this one, but another skyscraper. But he's got his UPB, his basking bulb. That spot right there gets around 95 degrees. We have a temp gun that I go around checking everyone with every day. Making sure everyone's uh, ha happy and healthy. Um, there is an LED light that goes on for the pothos, um, just so it has something, and so the gecko is day and light, night cycle. He's got a heat pad under here too, um, but I took it off for filming purposes, just to make everything easier. You guys didn't get to see him last time, I don't like disturbing him, but I'm going to pull him out. Not pull him out, but try to show him off, and he's not there. First try, right? There he is, or she, it's... This is our African fat tail. It's a baby. Uh, very small. I love this guy. The only issue I don't like, I mean, I'm gonna have to deal with it obviously, um, because he's my pet, but uh, I never get to see him. He's always hiding, he's always under there. Um, no big deal though. And then his old tank is right there. I think I said that. Um, this is our mossy lead tail gecko. His setup. Setup's kind of cool too. I got some rocks from outside. I boiled them to make sure uh, there wasn't any uh, unwanted pets or critters living on them. And I still comb them to the side. Uh, side kind of looks like a stone wall almost. This is a 12 by 12 by 18. Uh, just uh, pathos living in there. Had moss. All the moss kind of died off and yellowed out, and it's just in there. Because uh, my isopods and springtails live in there, underneath it. This guy is so cool though. He's probably my favorite. I don't like disturbing him either. I don't want to stress him out, but I want to try to get a better shot. Come on, buddy. If the camera would focus too, that'd be great. There he is. Love these, uh, love mossy leaf tail geckos. I think uh, Mike Petula 
I don't, I don't think that's how you say his name. He has a pretty cool leaf, leaf tail. He has a species I want. Europe, uh, I think it's Europlatus guntheri. I don't know the scientific name for this one, but over here to the left, these are our mossy, uh, yeah, mossy leaf tail frogs. Our mo uh, Vietnamese mossy frogs, um, they're both, they always hang out with each other. It's pretty cool. They're two males. You can hear them calling back and forth. It'd be nice to get a female, but they are in this setup. This is an 18, 18, 18 exoterra. Um, always stays relatively humid in here. I mean, I just sprayed them all not too uh, long ago when I'm home. I spray all my animals three times a day. Um, it's a 70%. I want to replace these screen tops on all the tanks with like a glass or a plexiglass. That way I'm not losing so much humidity and I don't have to keep like rugs and blankets on top of them. Um, a lot of them time. But simple setup. I kind of like how it's all overgrown and at nighttime you can see them in the plants. Hunting for crickets. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, microfauna in this tank is still doing pretty good, too. You see the springtails and isopods crawling around. Over here, last but not least, actually in the bedroom, too, we have a uh, leopard gecko that is about 15 years old now. I don't show him off. The bedroom's kind of a mess right now. This is a rare reptile. This is what you would call a pain in the ass. Oh, he's a good boy. This is our dog, Chief. Very good dog. He's an Australian Shepherd. Um, yeah, last but not least, these are our Dendrobates Locomelis. The newest additions, um, I would believe. I don't think I, I've gotten anything since. I think I got the fat tail before these guys. Um, these are probably my favorite species of frog, to be honest. Um, I want more dart frogs. These guys are great pets. They're always active, um, always climbing around the tank, exploring. I love that. Um, they're not old enough to call, and they're not really, uh, you know, they're not old enough to sex yet. They're only like maybe a month and a half or so, but uh, two months maybe. The tank's doing pretty good. Um, the moss is kind of coming back up here, which is pretty cool. I replaced, I don't know if this plant was in here before, but I replaced one plant with the tiny tears. Uh, the rabbit's foot, rabbit foot spurn is making a comeback. It's actually sprouting new leaves, so maybe it wasn't doing too good in the shaded area. <clears throat> um, the watermelon vines just taken off. Bromeliads are doing pretty good. This one's starting to lose a, a little bit of red. I just use a basic LED light up here, but I think I'm gonna buy a Jungle Dawn LED just because those are pretty much, you know, the best light as far as my research goes that I could find um, for exotic plants. But these guys are amazing. Um, they're very bold too, not shy. He'll come right up. These guys are ready to be fed too. I didn't put a drain on this tank, so I have to do the old uh, tube method where it's kind of like uh, Siphoning gas, you have to suck on uh, the tube to get the water out. Um, as long as you uh, you stop before the water comes to you, it won't go in your mouth, so it's not too bad. Next tank, though, next setup, I'm definitely gonna make a drain. I definitely want more dart frogs too. Maybe some Fago familia, um, powdered blues, cobalt, something like that. I'm honestly not picky. Um, I love I love all the dark frogs. They're such beautiful animals, and their environments are just amazing. Um, I was a little bit nervous going into this hobby because everyone's like, "Oh, they're very uh, they're very fragile." But if you just if you take care of them and you're responsible, they they're very rewarding and uh, make great pets. And it's cool to show off the tanks too when people come over. Cause they're, it's like a living jungle in your house. Oh, the other one is, he usually hangs out underneath the leaves or up top. Um, 
Yeah, it's probably under. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna leave these guys alone for now, though. Uh, don't want to stress them out. I already scared them. They're gonna get fed later on too, but uh, I'm gonna shut this too so I don't lose the humidity. Even though this tank doesn't have a glass top, it always stays around 70-80% humidity. Like when I come home from work, it's at 70%. That's not terrible. Um, immediately get sprayed, to, uh, sprayed down. Like I already sprayed them down twice today. They'll get sprayed down one more time before bed. Um, it'd be nice to get a mist king or something, but I like actually spraying my animals. Um, I think the more frogs I get, I'm probably going to invest in a mist king. Um, I think they're like 200 bucks though. But uh, I like misting most of my animals because it it's, gives me like something to do so I can interact with them. Um, besides feeding. I mean, these guys, you can't really tongue feed, so when I go in and I spray them, you know, it's uh, my only interaction I can really get with them, because you can't hold them. Um, uh, Springtail culture that I seeded most of my uh, vivariums li uh, with, and um, I left uh, a good amount so they can repopulate in there. Uh, fruit fly culture that I'm ready to retire in like another few days or so. I retire them. Um, so I don't get green mites, but, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy this video and, uh, we'll see you next time.